if any Chinese committed any illegal things here in Ghana, you do according to your law. So whenever we mention Galamse in Ghana, people want to blame the Chinese for it. But come to think about it, how can a Chinese leave his country, come to Ghana here, acquire a big portion of land, bring their machines, start drilling and spoiling the entire environment, destroying our farm lands, destroying our water bodies, and we just sit and watch? Come on, man. How can Chinese have that kind of control? And we claim that for the past few years, we've been struggling to fight against Galamse and it doesn't source. <laughs> that means that there's something wrong somewhere. And if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button so that whenever we post any videos, you get notified. Guys, to start with, let's listen to an address from the embassy of China in Ghana. When he met our president last time in 2018, our president said to himself that if any Chinese committed any illegal things here in Ghana, you do according to your law. We support you do according to your law. So we discourage Chinese people doing this illegal mining. Hey, you guys, you, you cannot do this. You need to transfer. Either you go back to China or either you do things according to local law. So that's our policy. First of all, to talk about it, I think the Chinese government have been slow in addressing some of this issue, especially doing it on the media for people to actually hear. See, people have blamed the Chinese government for this entire thing, and for the past few years, I haven't actually heard anything in the media talking about it. But for now that now that we we coming to hear the statements or the address from the Chinese embassy, I think that's a very good way to go. This has to be addressed by the Chinese publicly so that we get to hear their stance on this situation. Other than that, the illegal mining that has been done in the country, first of all, it's not only Chinese that are doing it. There are other people coming from different countries that are doing this illegal mining. And there are also Ghanaians, Ghanaian owned mining businesses or mining companies that are also engaged in this kind of you know, mining activity. So when we talk, we shouldn't just limit the thing to just Chinese. We need to widen the thing. But come to think about it, a lot of people talk about, you know, fighting Galamse. They, 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 they. they have been fighting Galamse for the past two years, five years, ten years, or whatever it is. But the Galamse doesn't end. Why is it so? How can a Chinese man leave his own country, come to Ghana here, acquire a big portion of land, huh? bring their machinery, come and tutu the land, huh? then go and wash it on our river body, destroy our farmland, destroy our water bodies, and at the end of the day, we claim that we are fighting and we can't stop them. How powerful are the people that we can't stop them? So, if you sit down and you think about it, you realize that, ah, the government is claiming to be fighting uh, uh, Galamse. It's not succeeding. The chiefs are also claiming that they are also fighting against Galamse. It's not succeeding. The politicians are using it to do their political campaigns, huh? that they will come and fight Galamse, they will also come and they will not be able to do anything. So what actually is the problem? That should tell you that they are just playing mind games with us. The political parties are involved, the chiefs are involved, the individuals, huh? they are all involved. And it's, it's a small thing that, it's a small mind game that you don't need to have a PhD to understand that they are playing mind games with us. Huh? How can people, the big political parties, the big People in government, the people, you know, chiefs and whatever, claim that they are fighting something, and at the end of the day, it keeps it, it keeps happening. It doesn't make sense. And other than that, too, when we talk about fighting Galamse, it's two ways. Either we fight because we don't get enough benefits, or we fight because it's not we are not those earning the benefits. Those are the two things. Most of the people who are earning the benefits, you don't see them coming to fight or talk against Galamse. They just shut up and then they end. They set up and take the money and go. That's it. So where is the problem? Who is actually responsible for all this issue? We have a lot of people to blame. We have the government to blame. We have the traditional chiefs of those communities to blame. We have the political parties and the MPs and court all to be blamed. We have the individual young citizens to blame. And now, recently, they, they start saying that, oh, they are not fighting against the Galamse, but what they are fighting against is the people washing and destroying our water bodies, you see? You see where the thing has got into? So, in the nutshell, what I have to say is that 
first of all when we turn the, when we talk about galamsey we shouldn't just limit it to one nationality like say chinese we have other people coming from other nationals that are also doing a galamsey work that's number one number two all the things the government is saying the political parties are saying the chiefs are saying all the lie all the lie they are all lying one way or the other they are compromising so don't be deceived by any political party that they are coming to fight galamsey or they are in the they are it is happening in their regime and then they are claiming that they are also they are fighting the galamsey it's not true they are compromising they are only doing it in the public for you and i to know number three if your, your village is destroyed with Galamse work, don't blame anyone. Don't blame the government. Don't blame your chief. Because your chiefs and your, you know, your DCs, they are all involved in this kind of activities. So it's a national problem that it's like a web. It's a web that everyone is involved. And whenever you are fighting against something, and it's very difficult to fight against it, that should tell you how, you know, the thing has involved a lot of people and it becomes impossible to fight. You have to wise up. If you have any investment that you are doing, you have to wise up and make sure that you don't invest it in locations where, you know, Galamsey is happening. So this is actually something that I have to share relating to Galamsey issue that I've not spoken about for a very long time on this channel. Thank you very much. If this is your first time, enjoy your day. Hello guys, this is a big portion of land located at Danfa and this is a fenced gated piece of land. If you want to buy a land that is litigation free, this is what you need because this piece of land is registered land with a land title certificate, you don't have any problem and you can see the walls freshly made and you can see the gates all made and already protected we have our caretaker here you don't have any problem if you buy a piece of land and you buy a piece of land where you can just start building the next day that is what we're talking about this is a big portion of land more than three plots of land and the owner is selling only two and a half part of it the price is just contact the numbers is your screen that will get it done thank you subscribe subscribe to, 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 to talk business